Hey guys, Gossip and Reactions, Maristic. Jenna Jackson reportedly not walking back comments about Kamala Harris not being black. Like I said yesterday, it is up to VP Kamala Harris to clear the air by allowing herself to open her mouth herself to say, yes, I am half black, half South Asian. If she doesn't take in her own to do so, that's up to her. I was just watching a clip where some reporter go inside a barber shop and asking three different guys if they believe VP Kamala Harris was black. About the majority of them say no. One of them say I heard she was half black, half South Asian. What is the confusion? Why? You yourself got to clear the air. Say it. Say it. So what? We can see it in you. It's in you. Your father was Jamaican, that's black, and your mother was South Asian. You are black. You have black in you. If you're part of being black, if you're part of being who you are, allow yourself to say you are, and you will clear the air, period. Another thing, I was watching The View today, and I see Whoopi Goldberg, which I have a lot of respect for and love, trying to make some excuse for Janet Jackson. Janet Jackson is a grown woman. And I even heard they fired the person who apologizes on her behalf because she did not authorize them to do so. So she meant what she said, that she doesn't think uh, VP Kamala Harris is black. That the problem we have with that is the fact that a lot of ignorant people going to go by that and not voting for VP Kamala Harris because they don't think she's black. VP Kamala Harris, I am begging you on this. Clear the air by allowing yourself to say, yes, you cannot ignore this. This is something that can probably make or break the whole shit. I mean, as bad as it is, this former orange man is a racist and sexist and a felon and a everything you can think of the book the most disgusting dirty things talking about haitian people eating pets he doubled down on that triple down on that and let me tell you something if you don't allow yourself to explain to people just like former pre president obama brought up his birth certificate and posted online for people to see yes he's american he was born in hawaii you're going to create a chaos for yourself and only you can respond for that. What is the big deal? People have said, yes, she said she's black. I never heard any video that she claims to be black. And I'm telling you, I'm a hundred percent for her. But at the end of the day, you got to stop the bleeding. by not just for the band-aid. Clean it. Clear it. Put some something in it apply pressure on it to stop the bleeding then you clean it if it needs antibiotic you put it in there and you wrap it up if you don't do that that's on you ma'am that's on you i can't do anything out of all those people on the view that really make it out there which i appreciate anna navarro hey anna como estas i appreciate her because she's clear she's firm she let you have it. I don't care who's been hurt in the process. She allow you. Okay, even when, when she talks about the Haitian people here in Miami, Florida. Because she's from Florida. Hey, Anna. She let you have it, yeah. She said, Janet Jackson had no business opening her mouth not knowing the truth. She's, create, she's creating confusion. She's creating problem for herself because... At the end of the day, if you are not sure why you didn't do your own research, your own due diligence before you open your mouth, why did you go out there and say something? And I did not like the fact that um, Sonny and Whoopi was trying to make it seem like, oh, Donna Jackson did not say anything wrong. She did say something wrong because she opened her mouth without doing her research and allowing the confusion to exp expand more. It's not fair. It's not right. So what? She's black or white. She is for the middle class. 
She is four people. What people don't understand, Janet Jackson is not going to pay your bills. Former orange men do not care about paying your bills. He's not going to give free money. That free money was because there was a pandemic. Coronavirus was the reason, and taxpayers already pay for that. People need to open their minds, stop being ignorant, stop being, please forgive me on that, stop being dumb and stupid. Inform yourself, this man did not give you free money out of his pocket. I know he put his stupid big signature in there, make it seems like he gave you free money, so you can vote for him. It wasn't his money. It was the government money. It was the taxpayers' money. Stop. Educate yourself, y'all. Yeah? Stop allowing famous people to tell you what they want you to believe. Janet Jackson is not going to pay your bills. She's living rent-free. She doesn't care about the $50,000 VP Kamala Harris offer to start small, a small business. She's not going to give you the $6,000 for first time uh, uh, born babies so they can buy crib and food and stuff she's not going to help any type of way stop listening to those people who are living rent free they are not going to change your life the candidate in power is going to change your life one way or the other yeah oh my god i don't understand the logic behind that jenna jackson sunday apology for recent comments about vice president kamala Harris was reportedly not authorized so when I read it yesterday, I didn't really understand that's what she meant. I thought she did not authorize to put the statement out, not believing that VP Kamala House was not black. No, she did not authorize the apology. Not that person is being fired. So she's staying on business. She's staying on ground saying, I don't believe she's black. And I don't understand why and how Whoopi Goldberg trying to defend that. Some stuff are undefendable. You cannot go try to clear somebody's name for the sake of being the Jackson. I don't really care for the Jacksons like that. She's opened her mouth. She did not do her, her, her own due diligence to find out who VP Kamala Harris is. And VP Kamala Harris, I am begging you to clear the air before the election. Or we're going to have a lot of idiot, a lot of ignorant people that are going to believe that you're not black and not voting for you. Oh, God. In an interview with The Guardian on Saturday, the 58-year-old singer was asked about her thoughts on how it's potentially becoming the first black female president. Well, you know what they supposedly said. Jackson said she's not black. That's what I heard, that she's Indian. And that's just, that was a dumb statement. That was a dumb statement. That's what you heard. But did you confirm? Did you go read to see what was who was her father, who was her, her mom? No, you didn't. So that's a complete failure. And I don't appreciate the fact Whoopi Gober is trying to clear her name. And she still stand on that statement. That's just jealousy. That's a lot of people. Let me tell you guys something. A lot of people are not going to vote for VP Kamala Harris because they don't want her to be the first black slash Asian woman to be the first woman president of the United States. And some guys don't have enough balls to see themselves, see a woman in charge of this. They will rather take a half dead orange man that have no common sense, that are declining cognitively, don't have no fucking common sense, being in charge of this great country, threatened to deport immigration, immigrants people here, treating uh, uh, black people bad, Send people taking um um immigrant taking black jobs they would want to have this piece of crap man in the white house instead of having somebody who is way more qualified do you see how racist and sexist america is and uh, to your surprise you'll be amazed how black people also can be racist and sexist towards each other I have seen it. I have witnesses. I have experienced it. You'll be amazed to see that. I have to do a different video on that. Subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye.